New allegations tonight that there are recordings, and a lot of them, that should have been provided in the Dominion Voting Systems case against Fox. That's what Abby Grossberg, a fired Fox senior producer who once worked with Tucker Carlson, who was fired yesterday, is saying, uh, is saying a reminder that Grossberg has filed two lawsuits against Fox and says she was let go for it. She accuses Fox of promoting a hostile work environment with claims of rampant sexism and misogyny among Carlson's show team. According to our reporting, that may have been one of the reasons why Carlson was fired yesterday. Grossberg also claims she was pressured to give misleading comments in the Dominion case. Today, she told MSNBC's Nicole Wallace she has many audio recordings from her devices and she claims Dominion said that they didn't have them. I have several recordings that I'm still going through that we've recovered from all of the phones. There are 90 that we have. 90 recordings. Not long after that, her attorney, speaking on MSNBC, said that Jack Smith, a special counsel in the January 6th investigation, wants those recordings. A Fox spokesperson has previously said that Grossberg's lawsuits are, quote, riddled with false allegations against the network and her employees. I want to get perspective on this and what it means for a broader news media landscape without Tucker Carlson in it for media critic David Zerwick. David, uh, good to have you on. Do you, do you have a sense of how much of a role, if any, Abby Grossberg's allegations may have played in Tucker Carlson's ouster? I mean, is it clear really why he was fired at this point? It isn't. It isn't clear why he was fired. And uh, I think, really, this story has such large cultural uh, uh, reverberations for it that we should be careful and that we shouldn't say this is why it happened. There's been so much of that, uh, uh, Anderson, in the last couple of days. And, and purposely, in the piece I wrote for CNN, I pulled back uh, from that. But if you look at history, there is some indication here that this culture is still in place. The culture of sexism, misogyny, really a culture that debases women, was built into the DNA of Fox News by Roger Ailes, the, uh, the founder, you know, the master propagandist, the political operative who founded this. Uh, we saw it down the line in Bill O'Reilly. Fox talked about as if they excised this cancer when they got rid of Ailes and O'Reilly, Bill O'Reilly the host. And that was really dramatic. But even cutting off the head with Ailes and then O'Reilly, you don't change a culture yeah. overnight. I wrote at the time that this is like a cancer at the heart of Fox News internally. And they really have to make a serious, systematic attempt to uh, eradicate it. I don't think uh, that they made that kind of yeah. attempt. If her allegations are true, Anderson, they didn't do much about it at all. You covered, I mean, Tucker Carlson for, for many years. Is it clear to you how or even why this his persona became what, what it did? I mean, was he always in this for the money and he was just reading the tea leaves of where the, you know, and following the money to, to where he, they, he thought the audience was and, and it was very financially lucrative for him? Because I talked to Paul Begala last night. He used to work with Carlson on Crossfire here on CNN and Paul basically said that back then, you know, Carlson was very contrarian, didn't like to be managed, but that the Fox version of him was not the person he knew way back then. Well, you know, I think it's always hard to figure out whether someone is manipulating the system or being seduced and manipulated by it. I think that that wasn't always the way Carlson was. I, I would agree with Begala about that. But I think it was the man meeting the moment. When he got that show at Fox, we had the ascent of uh, Donald Trump. And I think he saw what Trump did, how Trump used transgressive behavior and outrage to gather attention to himself, to control the media. I mean, you know, I wrestled in a million columns with how do we cover this guy? You know, we can't keep covering him when he says things we know that aren't true. All we can do is say it's not true. But we never figured out exactly how to cover him. And just as Trump did in the political realm, by going where no one else would go, saying horrible things, insulting people in horrible ways, saying racist stuff, Tucker Carlson did the same thing in the media realm, like when he said that immigrants, he suggested that immigrants make us dirtier as a nation. That's a racist statement that's just outrageous. I can't think of any mainstream journalist who would even want to think that, let alone say it. But he said it. He gets enormous coverage. His ratings, he, 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 he feeds the base of his far right further and further out there yeah. audience 
and it looks like he own, quote owns the libs, the, and the, so they're the delighted. Level, the level of hypocrisy, though, of him, you know, saying he, you know, thinks he hates Donald Trump. He can't wait till he doesn't have to cover him. They're almost there. They don't have to have him on. You know, they don't have to talk about him every night. I mean, it's just so hypocritical to be saying one thing privately and saying something else on air. I mean, it's just it's stunning. Anders, Anderson, the you and me, and intellectually, people who try to be intellectually consistent and honest, the hypocrisy makes you gag. But I think in the world he operated in, somehow in his mind, and I, you know, I don't, again, I don't know. Yeah. But I think, you know, it's easy to get seduced by the power. Yeah. You know, every time you go out there and say certain things, you get great feedback, you know? And th I think he got caught up in that a little bit. Yeah. I think in some ways he got caught up in it and, and hoisted on his own well, There's guitars. nothing, there's no greater reminder of how powerless one is than being quickly fired and zipping off the yes. screen yes. and, you know, then suddenly seeing how different the world is. David uh, Zerwick, appreciate it. Thank you.